Hey, um, it's Christoph again, trying to finish off this very complicated um, process, seeking for an advocate to help me get better. Um, not get better, basically stay alive. It's really getting bad. Um, when I first started, it was um, October 7th, and now it's um, November 5th, okay? So it's taken me a long time simply because I am extremely ill. I don't have a lot of energy and um, when I started writing I was like vomiting forth everything that I could possibly say or whatever. Um, I know it's part of the, uh, the uh, infection affecting my brain and not, you know, not necessarily my own taken things because I'm really humiliating myself by um, divulging all the intimate details of my, you know, not so special life, but it put me in a very strange position. So, um, I'm going to try and fast forward through it, and I'm sorry if I don't make a lot of sense, because I'm not trying to, um, I don't know how to make sense of all this for a, a, a lay person who doesn't, uh, you know, this is medical information per se, and um, <clears throat> are there are many, it can be controversial depending upon, the problem is Canada. Canada does not did not understand. And even though you said I would say something to them directly, they just won't get it. So anyway, so based on Wendy playing in the background for about six hours when I was sleeping, um, Pam Anderson was on and they, you know, they had um, Dr. Bajulian and Assange and so I listened, you know, you know the big thing about when they say that if you hear things, um, in your subconscious mind, you will actually, um, you know, so because of listening to these two, um, and because I've been praying for an answer to figure out how to get around all these blocks, first of all, the Malaysian um, doctors refused to help me in hospitals, in fact, they said they didn't care, and they won't treat me, you know, and um, at the same time, they informed me that this is a deadly, deadly um, infection, and um, they didn't care so they said go home so when i tried uh, through chc kl the canadian commission in kuala lumpur they started um, a very bizarre response which then led me to um to realize that they were just jerking me around for reasons i just couldn't not understand so i forgot i said you know what let me go and talk to Dr. Hetty Fry in uh, Vancouver, like sent emails and phoned her, nothing, until I saw an email fly across my, my uh, computer, um, not address, it was basically being forwarded, and in that forwarded documentation was uh, a link to the RCMP, which of course I was stunned by. But then I realized after, like months later, because basically I don't have a lot of energy and strength to do anything. Um, so. I had to reach, for, reach out to figure out how to find somebody. But, you know, I'm just gonna go with this saying, okay, it came out in, in, a, in a strange way, but both of you, like Pamela from her, her uh, organizations, and Julia, you have a direct link to, uh, to uh, advocates or lawyers in The Hague. And I have applied, um, Oh, I've sent documentation like this to Madame Fu Fu Futad, Fuad, oops, um, you will see, um, and anyway, the point is I've done all of this and nothing. So I'm going to send it a big, big package again, trying to figure out how to actually work this thing through. Um, I need both of your help because I am dead 10 months, November the 13th is um, not very far away is the last recorded um, survival rate for a case very similar to mine and trust me at this point in time I am going down I can hardly get out of bed if I do anything I am completely um, exhausted um, and my body is doing all kinds of weird, weird, weird stuff, okay? Jerking, spasmodically, coughing, choking, um, 
the last breakout uh, with a couple of days ago, and uh, this is what it's, what's what's left from the uh, out of the 50 that came out all over my body. These are what's left, but they were actually very nasty uh, looking. I mean, you could probably see some of it right now. They were really purplish red, and they itch like crazy. But I had 50 of these over my arms, my back, my head, my face. Christ, that, that shocked the crap out of me because I thought, you know, I've, I've had so far maybe 20 in my face, but at different times. Um, so, I'm not, I'm just freaking out because they're changing colors and all sorts of stuff. So, this is not good. This is horrible. Okay? So, I had to reach out to you. I know that there are blocks in the way. Of course, I'm not even, I'm not even thinking about blocks. Like, first of all, you don't know who I am, all right? I've tried to make sure you understand who I am. Secondly, we live in a horrible world right now where people are doing all kinds of nasty, crazy, frightening things, terrorisms and all kinds of bullshit that's going on. You know, what's his name? Um, Donald Trump. Um, uh, so I'm going to be looked at, you know, you're going to look at me, look at me, <laughs> oh my god, you're going to look at me and try and figure out, is this guy telling the truth, or is this a joke, or is this some sort of freaking whatever, it's real, it's all over the internet that I've tried to do this, I've tried to do fundraisers, I've done everything that I know, I've reached out to uh, numerous um, Amnesty International people in New York, in Geneva, etc. I mean, Canada, nothing. Okay? Ignored. In London, I mean, Essex in, in England, I reached out to them as well. So it is not, I mean, I've tried so bloody hard, but at the same time, the disease is a ticking time bomb. So I don't know what to say to ask to get you to help me because I just do not no, how do I know any of this? Okay, how do I know what to do? Because everybody I turn to just, you know, flip the bird. Okay, so it is leptospirosis, or not less, not just leptospirosis, but um, but versions of it because it has mutated dramatically. So this is really dark days for me. You know, my life at this point in time is over okay so I am not I'm trying my best to get you to understand and I don't know if you will okay so there it is real disease cannot clear fever and it's it's bad in my case it's also bad because genetically I had this at birth a form of it okay called treponoma disease so apparently I have been told that I have a syndrome uh, based out on this and there was one doctor in Vancouver, Dr. Lawson Baird, who was my doctor and he actually was able to um, see my kidneys are my my um, my peeing is not great so things there's there's heart damage okay which is which actually did happen already eye disease which is actually going on right now okay so yeah I'm not in a I'm in you know severe vasculitis with you know so when you okay here is severe vasculitis that these these um you know these so-called breakouts which are coming like uh, petechiae but look at them they are infected all right um on my back on my t-shirt there is a um, a complete um, printout of the infection um, on my back and there were like 250 and it all leaked with signal onto my shirt and uh, I mean I'm trying not to get I'm trying to stop any of that from happening I don't have the drugs so maybe I'm, I'm asking for all kinds of help but I don't, don't understand how to do it um, I did reach out to all these doctors and nothing happened um, and I even called um, Doctors Without Borders, I mean, email them, because I figured I need somebody who is going to have to think around, the, the, you know, 
out of the box because I don't know what to do. I need drugs, I need hospital, I need treatments. Oh, I'm a dead, dead man. Now I'm having all of this recorded to make sure people understand what's going on. So this guy, this dude, I found a guy here who talked about it as well. And this is what it's like for me every single day. Okay? So here's what he's saying. Every day I try to get up in bed. Every time I try to get up, I faint. But I have to get in today before I get worse and find out what's going on and what I'm affected with. So it's going to be rough because there's no elevator. I have four flights of stairs to get to bed. Okay. He actually talked about something. I have not been able to move a lot. Like he's mentioning such minutia as the as the elevators and the stairs. Um, I'm on a top floor penthouse sort of view. Doesn't sound sounds great for, for Canada, but it's just an ordinary apartment. Um, situation is, I can't move around as much as I want to, and um, so. My, okay, there it is. Disease is transmitted by direct contact with the fluids or with an infected animal, okay? They did not understand that this can actually go into bedding. And when you, when it is, uh, okay, potential fatal causing damage to living kidneys, okay? So this is, this is reality check here. So this is what's happening in my, in my body, all right? This is what, it's not waterborne, it actually works much, much more so. It's, it's any contact, okay? Like simply, if somebody wanted to kill you, they could take a uh, rat and put it in a needle and inject you and you'll be dead. That's how lethal it is. Any contact at all, okay? Not just water. They seem to fixate on one thing and say that's an absolute and it is not. Okay, so they, they be doctors or whatever. Watch him. This is what this is what it's like for me. I'm like this 22 hours a So basically, I am a write-off. See, so I've been infected now for 10 months. And they refuse, and the antibiotics I could get, they are refusing to give to me as well, okay? So no drugs, no bueno. Um, so you're getting the, the idea, very dangerous. Okay, so what, what's this guy talking about here now? Right. A little task, a lot of work, okay? Because I can't even, to go to the grocery, which is only five blocks away, can take me up to three days to get to do it. To do this task here and record all this information for you has taken me a month. I thought about it, I've written, I've, in my head I've created all kinds of uh, really great stuff to say and do, but reality is I can't. 
know? I just don't have that... Uh, okay, so my lungs are going like crazy nowadays. Um, the brain is my own. I'm having a lot of... of um... Okay, I do have the record of my heart going bad already, so that's taken care of. The brain, I'm having a lot of sharp pains with um, bright lights. Uh, now, before it was all kinds of a kaleidoscope of nasty green, orange, blue, purple. Um, yeah. Why, 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 why? Okay, so anyway, poor guy, right? So, but he's in the Philippines, so he could probably get help, I don't know. I just know in Malaysia they will not help me. Not. So anyway, I had another guy who talks about it. City man is battling a severe case of leptospirosis. Doctors believe he contracted the disease while swimming near a popular hiking trail. He's sharing a story with hopes of saving lives. Ron Mizutani reports. See that? Saving lives. I'm actually trying to save people's lives as well. Not only my own, but the fact that this is being done deliberately. These creeps are actually reaching out into our, you know, we're a holiday, we're just on vacation, we don't know anything about this place whatsoever. I looked up a lot of places when I was coming through, and there's no report of this, except if you Google it now, you'll find it, okay? Now, this is Dr. Lawson Baird. Lawson, I considered him a friend, and we were in contact when I first came back uh, from, because I was living in Asia for a long time, and the, uh, one another infection started up as well. I mean, an infection upon an infection because it was in treating the infection that I got the other infection, okay? So Lawson, all right, was a real sweet out of guy. I don't know why he hasn't um, reached out to me yet, but I understand apparently Canada has become very tricky when it comes to talking about medicine at long distance, etc. And the last time I was a patient of his was uh, before I left for Toronto and the rest of the world because I have traveled extensively. Anyway, let's see. Okay, stop it for a while because it's... Stop! What are, you, what are you doing, creep? Okay, go back over here. He caught writing Aloy smiles while sitting in a hospital bed knowing he's lucky he's alive. If it wasn't for... Hundreds and hundreds of people selling pears and, and 